Welcome back to Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup at New Jersey Motorsports Park. Less than 11 minutes remaining, and there's a battle for position. Jesse Combs trying to swing around uh, Justin Piscatel, and here comes Aramal Cajun in the yellow 11 car. Going by his teammate, Lionel Kent. Looks like Ara is going to try and go up for the uh, front again, and uh, he's had some good weekends in the past, and let's see, but he's, you know, a long way back to the, now that's the uh, Alara cars in a row there. Yeah. Still with uh, Combs and Malkasian and Kent, and uh, we'll see what they can do, but it looks like uh, Nick Evans is in trouble a little bit here. His, uh, his times are slowing off a little bit more than the others, and uh, they're picking up about a half a second or so left. One of the great things I think about the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup, part of Mazda Speed's driver development ladder system, is you learn things like tire management and pace. 45 minutes is not a long race, but it's long enough. You can start to get a sense of that. Yeah, and you know, a lot of these guys come from uh, club racing where you're out there in a 20, 25-minute race, and it is quite a bit different to save a car for uh, this distance for these guys. But, you know, we've got a great battle going here. Not a lot of uh, passing right at the moment, but also Carpenter, who was actually back quite a way, has caught up with this. I don't know if he can do it with anybody. This is really a hard track to pass on. You know, if you can't get him down the straight and get off of 10 properly, this course has only really two left-hand corners. There is the chicane a little bit, but has two left-hand corners. But unfortunately, uh, one of them is the most important corner on this whole course. So if the car doesn't handle in other corners, you almost say, well, I can live with it. But if it doesn't handle in 10, you will not be able to pass anybody. Watching that red cool gas car, that's the fifth place car of Jesse Combs. Malkasian is sixth, final Kent back to seventh. There's Cooper. I remember he and Nick Evans, the second place car. They were nose to tail for many laps early in this race, and now Cooper has pulled away, bidding for his first career win in the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup Series. There's the cool gas entry of Combs. And now they have that, the carousel corner back by the new condos there as Combs drops a wheel off. I'm fascinated by that turn. It's a right-hander. I would think your instinct would be to try to carry a lot of speed, make one big turn out of it. You come out of that corner, you think you put the gas down. Instead, you've got a hard left just a few feet away. Yeah, but and the thing is, is that uh, that what it is is kind of almost a decreasing radius sweeper that you see. So as you come around seven and eight, they're pretty fast. But then the uh, last of the right-handers there, nine, is a tight corner. So there is another philosophy of uh, coming out and going out wide so you can really tighten it up because you want to be towards the right side of the track to take the left-hander coming up. Now, here's Cooper coming up to uh, make uh, a couple of slower cars right now. He has to efficiently get by them so he doesn't lose any of this. Oh, my gosh, five seconds that he's got yeah. up in front right now. Yeah, he needs to dispatch uh, Christine Crane in the uh, pink racing car there in the six. Uh, that is uh, the car Richard Watson there, 14th and 15th to lap down. Uh, sweeps by Watson, no problem. And Christine Crane, uh, has in her first year in pro racing, has learned quite a bit. She's improved steadily. Uh, still not quite up to pace with the leaders, but I don't think she'll balk uh, the race leader, Cooper, much. But uh, if we can talk a little bit about Christine Crane and that race for the Cure car. Really impressed with what she's done here today. Qualified at the back of the grid again, 18th. She's raced her way up to 14th, and, and she's learning. Here she comes down the front straightaway with Cooper approaching. I'm really happy with what she's done here today. Yeah, and she's waving by the leader. She went up and pointed over the roof. You saw the hand move to let him uh, by. She's uh, keeping her eye on what's going around. But, you know, for her, being a little family affair and uh, going out and racing a car like this, this is tough because the guys in the other cars, and we've got a lot of new people in the series, but they're going into a team that has uh, a lot of data logging. You've got four or five teammates, that kind of thing, yeah. You, you, tump, you, you compare it to other cars, you compare it to other drivers, and uh, that way it's uh, easier for them than it is for her, who has nothing to compare it to and doesn't have the, uh, they're looking for the setup rather than having four cars. Crane in the 39, the racing for the Cure entry. Uh, battling there with Watson for position 14th and 15th. Cooper driving away, but back behind this, Brad Rampelberg has indeed caught Nick Evans and gotten by him to take second spot away in the blue car, the AMG machine. Because it looks like Nick Evans is struggling a little bit at this time, and uh, we'll see if he can hold off Justin Piscitale, his teammate, if uh, that works out. But Rampelberg is making some good time, unfortunately. He's not catching the leader much because he is uh, out there flying. And uh, we saw Mike Cooper make a little mistake, drop a wheel off the outside. He has not given up. He is still going fast, hard. He's got to pay attention, though. He's got inside six and a half minutes. So time for maybe four more laps, maybe three. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, Todd Lewis, Brad Rampelberg with a bit in his teeth here late in the going. Trying to chase down his teammate, Michael Cooper, that is leading this one and has been.
been for quite some time. You noticed then mention, fellas, that Nick Evans has begun to slide back just a little bit. Checking in with the team, Nick has reported that he thinks the toe might have been knocked out a little bit on the car in some of the contact and the passing back and forth. It's not a terminal problem by any stretch of the imagination, but the car is giving him more than he's expected. He's got his head down, and he's trying to keep it up towards the front as best he can and hang on for as good a finish as possible. 28 shuffled back to third. You saw Rampelberg coming down the front straightaway as though he was on the New Jersey dirt bike. Flashing the high beams at the slower traffic ahead. Move over, please. I'm coming through. Let's take a quick timeout in New Jersey. Back with more of the Playboy Mazda MX-5.